here. <clears throat> All right, great. So uh, let me share my screen with you guys. Welcome to the webinar. All right, I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you guys, uh, I'm going to share my screen with you. I'm going to show you what I what I mean as well. So if you guys want the recording after uh, of this lecture, then you guys can go to YouTube and you can search for Lumi Wealth, L-U-M-I Wealth, right? Uh, basically the name of our company, right? Search for that in YouTube, right? And when you go in, you'll see that we actually have this class live right now. Right. So um, first of all, make sure that you subscribe and uh, and, you know, get notifications from us because we have lots of lots of content we put out here for all of our different classes. We have lots of stuff around crypto coming out. Uh, we have lots of like really good content on here. So I'd subscribe to make sure you get those updates um, to all that free stuff. But for this uh, lecture in particular, uh, you'll see that when you go in here, uh, this is actually live right now. Right. So it's basically, you know, a couple seconds delayed. Right. Um, but also, once this is done, you'll be able to get the recording here. This will turn into a recording, All right? So make sure that you go to our YouTube channel. We're going to post the link as well into the chat here, so you guys have access to that. Right, uh, the chat. All right, there you go. So that's a link there to the YouTube channel, so you guys can go ahead and find it. All right. Okay, so let's uh, let's get started. All right, so here's our agenda for today. Uh, first, gonna like gonna learn uh, who's on this call, right? Learn a little bit about you guys. Uh, then we're gonna introduce myself and a little bit about the company. Then we're gonna get into algorithmic trading, um, you know, kind of the theory behind it and, and why uh, why it matters and kind of that sort of thing. Uh, then we're gonna talk about our trading returns, and then we're gonna get into the code and uh, the demo, right? Basically showing you um, how the spot works, right? And how how some of this code works. Uh, after that, I'm also going to talk about the course itself, right? So if you guys are interested in joining the course, uh, tell you a little bit about that, and and uh, they'll have some question time at the end. Uh, but one thing I must say though, uh, don't hold your questions to the end. Uh, definitely happy uh, when people ask questions throughout this entire presentation because uh, it it's really nice to have that kind of like back and forth sort of thing happen. Right? Okay, so first of all, let's find out who's on this call, right? So if you guys can answer these three questions. Uh, what is your occupation? Uh, do you know how to code? And how much investment experience do you have? Right. <clears throat> so what's your background? What's your occupation? Right. Do you know how to program or code? And how much experience do you have coding? Or how much investment experience do you have? And I'm going to post this into the chat here. <clears throat> right. Okay, great. Perfect. Uh, so I'm just going to check here. So we got a chat. Um, so Thomas, uh, so, you, so Uber, so you work for Uber, uh, and you do enterprise sales. All right, awesome. That's great. Uh, no coding experience in three years investing. Okay, awesome. Thanks, Thomas. That's great. Yeah, a lot of people that go through our classes um, are kind of like you. That, you know, they've been trading for a while. They have some investment experience, uh, but not they don't necessarily know how to code. So uh, a lot of, like, through our class, we actually accommodate a lot for that and help you actually learn how to code throughout the class as well, All right? So don't feel like you need to know how to code in order to take the class, right? Cool, thank you for that. Uh, so for the rest of you guys, we can fill up, fill that out, please, uh, when you get a chance, that'd be great. Uh, while you guys are doing that, though, um, I'm going to introduce myself, right? Uh, so first of all, who am I? Um, so my name is Robert. Um, I have been coding for a very, very long time. I started coding when I was about 12, right? Um, so it's been quite a while. Um, you know, spent a lot of time, um, you know, managing software teams, that sort of thing as well. Um, <clears throat> basically, uh, went through school, um, you know, decided to go uh, to study finance. I got my master's in finance, loved uh, everything about it, especially how it relates to computers. And kind of the idea for these, algorith these algorithms and, and that sort of thing came about pretty much going through grad school. It's something that I've always been very, very keen on and love this sort of idea. Um, actually informed a lot of my investing decisions over time. Um, you know, maybe back then didn't have robots that automatically traded, but still able to use a lot of data 
and uh, believe me, worked out quite well in terms of investing. So I'm very happy about that one. Um, yeah, so went through grad school, did a master's in finance. Uh, after that, went and got uh, some jobs on Wall Street, right? So I worked at a company called Greystone, uh, basically managed their software team there. It was a brand new foray into software. Uh, my job was to hire, manage, that sort of thing, all, all of the software team. Um, this is a company that, uh, you know, maybe does $8 billion in mortgages per year. Uh, so we designed some software to really make that a lot easier, right? Um, basically, if you want to go get a mortgage of like $10, $10 million or, or up, uh, this is usually for commercial properties um, <clears throat> or pretty much exclusively for commercial properties, I should say. And, um, you know, if you want to um, purchase, you know, this property and you want to get this loan, then we had software to make that a lot easier for you, right? So uh, everything from getting the data so we could evaluate what the value of the property was, right? Use a lot of machine learning and things like that for, for that purpose. Uh, and everything until, you know, how to actually get the loan through and what types of things are possible with it and what's not. Uh, so we built out all that, uh, those sorts of systems. Um, I believe that the software we made at this point, it's probably done maybe 50, $60 billion in mortgages. So I feel pretty good about that one. Uh, after that, I went to go work in the crypto space, right? So um, this is a couple of years ago, right? So er pretty early in the crypto space. Uh, I went to go work for a company called Voyager. I was employee number four, I want to say three or four, something like that. Basically, when I was there, nothing really existed. It was just us and we work with an idea um, and a little bit of funding. But uh, that company since has grown quite a bit. I don't know uh, how familiar you, you guys are with crypto, but Voyager is now one of the, one of the biggest um, brokerages, uh, crypto brokerages in, in America. Um, and it's public. Uh, that company that we started a while back is now worth somewhere around two or three billion dollars. So that definitely uh, makes me feel quite good. Started uh, a unicorn. Um, definitely it was a life goal of mine for a while. And uh, yeah, and then uh, after that, now obviously started uh, Luby Wealth. We uh, start our own company. This is uh, about two years ago uh, that we started this. And we've grown quite a bit ever since. And what Luby Wealth is all about is it's about using software to improve investment returns. That's what that's our entire mission. That's what we're working on doing is how can we use software to help people make more money, right? Now, when I used to work on Wall Street, you know, people would use software to make them make more money in like these large hedge funds, you know, called Bridgewater, Two Sigma. Uh, but these are all kind of blocked off and, and you know, most investors cannot access that, those sorts of algorithms, right? Um, which I thought was pretty, you know, th th there's a very pervasive thing like that across Wall Street that really like rich people tend to get richer. It's kind of the way it works. Um, not, I'm not a big fan of that, right? Uh, something that uh, definitely really want to change a lot using um, using technology, using software. I think we can uh, democratize the way that we do investing. And I think software is a great way to do that, right? Uh, so that's really the whole mission behind Lumi Wealth is, you know, right now we're doing a lot of education around that. We're also building a lot of tooling uh, around being able to uh, actually make it a lot easier to create your own algorithms. We're also working on a couple of things in crypto uh, to make it easier for you to create your own crypto coins, things like that. Uh, some new courses coming out soon. Um, yeah, and that's that's really the whole purpose of Ruby Wealth is how can we make you guys better returns using software, right? Now, uh, I must say this again, uh, I already posted this link in the chat, but I'll do it one more time. Make sure you follow us on YouTube. Um, YouTube, uh, you know, has a lot of stuff in it, right? This is our YouTube channel, Ruby Wealth, right? Um, make sure you subscribe and, and follow and all that. Uh, but we have a lot of stuff in here. If you want to watch, you know, some, some testimonials, there's lots of reviews in here, right? If you go to the uh, channel, if you go playlists, you can see our reviews, right? Uh, testimonials, reviews. If you want to watch like reviews by our students, you can go ahead and do that here. Uh, we got a bunch in there. Close that out. Uh, we have uh, stuff on auctions trading. We have stuff on blockchain. We have interviews that we've had with other people. So there's lots and lots of good content in here. And we're constantly putting out new stuff, uh, especially live content we do quite a bit of. All right, so if you, if you guys are interested in any of that, uh, just make sure you subscribe. Uh, and then again, as I was saying, this is right now us. We're live here on YouTube as well. Um, <clears throat> so if you want a recording of this, then you can go ahead to our YouTube channel and you can get that recording from here as well. All right. Okay, cool. So that's our YouTube channel. Um, 
We also have Discord channel. Uh, if you guys are not familiar with Discord, I'm going to put this uh, link inside the chat as well. So you guys have uh, that available. Um, and basically, this Discord is what we have here. There's lots and lots of conversations that we have here. We have plenty of different channels. We have a crypto channel where we talk about crypto. We have, you know, um, past and, and, and existing students in here. So if you guys want to learn about algorithmic training, you want to see how other people have done with their algorithms, uh, there's a great way to uh, get to know people in the community. Um, lots and lots of people on here. Uh, they can ask questions from. It's quite vibrant. People definitely talk quite a bit on here. Um, on all sorts of topics related to uh, using software and investing. So make sure you join Discord. I think it's a great resource and you guys can really get to know a lot of people within within the space. Learn about how other people have taken the courses, you know, like all, all sorts of stuff like that, right? And then also at the end of the webinar, we're gonna be doing a survey. Um, so just make sure that you check that out. Um, uh, you know, taking these surveys helps us do a lot better uh, in the future with our webinars, but also helps us improve our courses and our, and our in our um, in our company as a whole, so please make sure you fill out that survey. It's definitely uh, it's something that we read quite often, right? Um, and then uh, again, as, as I was saying before, uh, please make sure you ask questions throughout the presentation. Don't feel like you have to wait until the end to ask questions. Um, it's really nice when it's more interactive and you guys, you know, uh, are more involved, right? So don't feel like you have to wait until the end, right? Okay, cool. Um, all right, so let's talk about algorithmic trading why this matters, why we care about algorithmic trading. Uh, so first of all, algorithmic trading is basically using software to analyze and data, analyze data and make trades, right? So, you know, I think it's a popular misconception that algorithmic trading is only like, you know, buying and selling really quickly. People tend to think high frequency trading is synonymous with, with algorithms. It is one type of algorithm. There are many, many, many different types of algorithms that you create. Um, everything from using machine learning and art, artificial intelligence, basically to trade, uh, trading off the news, uh, following uh, ins following uh, influencers and basically trading off of what influencers say. Um, there's lots and lots of different ways that you can trade to make money. Uh, and, and even things as simple as just rebalancing bots, right? Those can be actually quite effective as well. Like imagine like build your own ETF type thing. Uh, there's lots and lots of different things that you can do with algorithms, right? Um, and it's also uh, not every single algorithm is an algorithm that will trade for you automatically, although most people do that. Um, some people opt to, you know, just get trade alerts instead. That's fine, right? But we, we definitely support that. Um, although most people prefer just automatically doing the trades. Um, but, you know, using data science to analyze and, and actually figure out what you should be trading is, is quite important, right? Because it's like, it's like this, you know, a lot of people will say, I have such and such a trading strategy and I want to do this, blah, blah, blah. Um, how do you know that's a good idea, <laughs> right? Um, you know, it's, uh, it really helps a lot when you download the data, you're able to run statistics on it, you're able to back test your strategies. There's a lot, a lot of value to that. Uh, even if you're not um, actually uh, automating the trades uh, by themselves as well, right? There's a lot of value just in the data itself, right? Um, so I got a question here from Thomas. Uh, do you have specific trading platform to execute trades automatically, e.g., uh, take or swim? Uh, yeah. So we so some some brokers are better than others when it comes to algorithms. Um, think or swim is not that great when it comes to algorithms. Um, they do not allow paper trading, right? Which is a major major problem with uh, with TD Ameritrade or Think or Swim, uh, which means that if you're if you create a trading bot. You can't test it, right? You go immediately into live money, uh, which is a huge problem when it comes to building algorithms. Um, we support a bunch of brokers and we're adding more and more over time. Uh, we support Alpaca, we support Interactive Brokers. We're adding in TradeStation over the next couple of weeks. Uh, and we're gonna be adding in a lot of crypto brokers as well. Binance, Coinbase, um, SushiSwap, Uniswap, all that kind of stuff. We're gonna be adding in a lot, a lot of brokers along those lines. Um, so we don't specifically support uh, Think or Swim just because they, they're not very good with algorithms in general. Um, but we do support quite a few other brokers and we're adding more and more. Um, and again, also keep in mind that when you're running an algorithm, you want this thing to have its own account anyways, right? You, you shouldn't be trading an algorithm, the same account that you use to manage your own personal, you know, if you're buying and selling, all you're gonna do is confuse the bot, right? And you're gonna be like fighting with it, right? So you should have your own account anyways 
when you are uh, doing uh, when you're doing a trading algorithm. Right. Cool. Hopefully, I answered your question. Let me know if uh, you have any follow-ups to that. Right. Okay. Cool. Um, all right. So, yep. Perfect. Awesome. Okay. Great. So, uh, so that's what we do there. Um, and you know, so why do we care about trading algorithms? Why does this matter? Right. So, first of all, uh, some of the most successful hedge funds in the world use this. Right. Uh, some examples here is like, for example, Renaissance Technologies. These guys have made a lot, a lot of money doing this stuff. Um, last time I checked, they had $110 billion in assets. My guess is that's quite a bit higher now. Um, this is, I checked it maybe about a year ago, right? So I'm pretty sure it's quite a bit more than that now. Um, but these guys just have been killing it. They're, they're doing absolutely amazing. Imagine making 39% average annual return per year. It's uncorrelated with the stock market, uh, very low risk, right? So we're talking, we're not saying 39% you know, on average, but it's like, it's wild up and down. I'm talking about, they've only had like one month ever that they've lost money. That includes going through the, the tech bubble. That includes going through 2008 crash. That includes going through uh, last year's crash. These guys just do not lose money, right? They're not losing money. And on average, they're making 39% per year on average, right? So very good risk to return ratio and, and very high uh, actual returns in general, right? So put that into perspective, um, what does that mean exactly, 39%, right? So if, uh, if you study finance, if you know a little bit about finance, you know how important compound interest rates are, right? So here's an example. Uh, if we're trading, if we're investing in the stock market, this is the S&P 500, on average makes around 10% a year. It, ch it changes depending on the time frame you're looking at, but it's usually around 10%, okay? Uh, if you put in $1,000 at 10% for 30 years, you'd end up with uh, $17,449, right? That's at 10%, okay? So kind of like retirement type thing, if you want to think about like save money for retirement, that's how much you end up with, right? If you did the exact same thing at Renaissance, if you invest at the same rate that they were making money, right, 39%, okay? That $1,000 wouldn't be 17,000, it would be $19.5 million, okay? So four times the return, but it, through compounding, significantly higher um, cash at the end of the day, right? So really uh, quite, quite a substantial difference there between um, getting the stock market's return versus getting um, renaissance type returns, right? And, you know, and that, that goes throughout the whole thing. I mean, if you can go anywhere from 10%, even if you could beat the stock market by a little bit, that still could result in tens of thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of dollars, uh, in the long run doing this sort of thing. So definitely a lot of value here to be able to systematically um, improve on your investments, right? Okay, cool. So that's so that's Renaissance, right? But they're they're not the only ones, right? There's a lot of other people like them or another a lot of other companies like them. So Two Sigma is another one like them. These guys manage 60 billion assets. I think last time I checked, they like doubled S&P 500 with like very, very low risk. It's like very, very stable. And they're just like being the S&P 500 on a regular basis. Uh, Citadel does the same thing. They manage $32 billion. Same thing, all with algorithms. These, these guys actually do the, the high frequency trading stuff, Citadel, right? Two Sigma does more like the machine learning stuff and, and, and all that from what I understand. Uh, Bridgewater this is Ray Dalio's company, if you guys are familiar, right? Uh, they use a lot of data to inform their trades, right? Um, made quite quite a bit of money over time and managed $140 billion in assets, right? Uh, and then there's also D.E. Shaw. Um, and tell me uh, if you guys recognize this company. Do you know, uh, it's a famous person who used to work at this company. Uh, do you guys know who that might be? If you guys want to take a guess. These guys also build trading algorithms. Uh, and someone used to work there um, and actually got the idea for a company uh, because of when he was working there and he was working with a lot of the data. Um, so that kind of gave him an idea as to build this other company. And uh, if you guys want to type that into the chat, if you want to take a guess, uh, if not, I'll, I'll reveal that in Bezos. Yes, exactly. Good job, Thomas. Yeah. So Jeff Bezos used to work at DE Shaw back in the day. And that's actually how he got the idea for Amazon, right? If you, if you listen to some interviews uh, with him back in the day, um, he actually would, would work a lot with the data within the company. And he saw how quickly internet was growing. And that's kind of like the whole reason why I created Amazon to begin with, right? Um, so definitely you're in some very good company 
when you're doing uh, this type of work, the algorithm, the algorithmic trading type of work, right? Um, but that's that's these companies. You know, they're not the only ones. We also make some good money as well, right? This is uh, this is last year's returns. Um, you know, basically we beat the S and P 500 at that point in time. S and P was doing 17 percent. We did 53. Um, I probably have to update this and get a new screenshot. Uh, this is just, I took it on my iPhone. Uh, but it's not our only account. You know, I could tell you there's a lot of other accounts that just did extraordinarily well over the past year. A lot of people did well. Uh, the difference is that um, we did not lose money when things fell, right? Um, I, I've been managing these portfolios for, for several years now. Um, it's, it's great when I hear people saying they made a lot of money over the past year. That's fantastic. Right. Um, question is, are you going to continue to make money in, in the bad times as well? Uh, that's very important. Right. So for us, it's, you know, we beat the market when it's down. We beat the market when it's up. Um, and that's, you know, what I think is a very important type of thing to do when you're investing. Right. It's not it's not just buy a call option and wow, look, I made a thousand percent. It's actually uh, managing risk quite well to make sure that we're not uh, doing anything ridiculous. Right. And we're still doing quite well. Right. Okay, cool. Um, all right, so let's talk about the code here. So if you guys are interested in the code, you can take a look at, uh, just so you know, kind of this, this is what we do, right? Here's our open source software that, you, that we created called LumiBot. Uh, really makes it quite easy for uh, people to make, make bots. Um, and we, we show this throughout our classes as well, how to use this sort of thing. Um, it's definitely one of the better libraries out there. Uh, if you guys want to read up on that a little bit, you can read up on kind of what we built here. There's a lot of Really, really good stuff in there. Um, you can automatically uh, create something that is a back test, and then uh, you know trade it right away after that. We we made it very, very easy for you to create uh, create uh, these types of bots using this technology. Right. Okay. Cool. Um, so there's that. Uh, if you guys are interested, by the way, I'll give you guys access to this whole uh, presentation here in case you guys want to see the presentation. I'm just going to give you guys a link. There you go, if you ever want to review it. Okay, but let's uh, let's get into the demo because I think this is probably um, one of the things that you guys really want to see the most out of this, uh, out of this presentation. So what I have here uh, is actually me recording uh, this trading um, a couple of weeks ago, right? Um, I did this because obviously right now it's not, the market's not open, so I can't really show you guys live this thing trading. But what I can do is I can show you uh, a recording of us trading with this bot uh, a couple of weeks ago. So I'm gonna play that for you guys here. It's gonna show off a couple of different strategies that uh, we teach within the class. Um, our, our library strategies keep growing and growing. Um, there's so many different things that we have now. Um, we have things where you can follow social media. We have things where you can listen to chat rooms and, and trade off people's uh, opinions from chat rooms. We have things where you can read the news. We have things where uh, you can automatically rebalance. We have lots and lots of different kinds of bots. Um, there's no way I could show you that in a reasonable amount of time. Um, literally, it's like it's, it's the library is growing quite big. And also keep in mind that when you're part of the course, when you join the course, you get access to all that code as well. So you take that code, use your own box, uh, use it to build your own box, modify it if you need to or whatever else, right? Uh, who is uh, developing the code? So Thomas asked, who is developing the code for your algos? You open source people in the class. Um, I'm not sure what you mean by like, so do you mean the algos that we have within uh, the course? So these are algorithms that, uh, mostly that we have, yeah, in the library. Yeah, they're, they're algorithms that mostly we have developed. Uh, it's between all of our instructors, right? So it's myself and, and people who teach some of our other classes as well. Uh, and it's also some, some stuff from students that students have actually contributed to over time, right? Students will take the class and really, you know, find something that works really well. And we, we have a pretty collaborative community where people tend to share code and, and help each other out. So it's, it's kind of putting all that stuff together. Uh, for the most part, it's code that we've created, but it's also code from other instructors and, and, other, um, and other students as well, right? So it's a bunch of all that together. Yeah. Right, and, and uh, is the performance data on each also? Yeah, I'm gonna show you some performance for a couple of them right now, actually, right? So in this demo, you're gonna see uh, some back tests and some performance of some of these strategies and see how each one of them did, right? And you can also take those strategies, modify them, and do whatever you want to do with them as well, right? So keep that in mind, it's code, so you're, you're free to modify it as you want, right? Cool, yeah, no problem. 
All right, okay, so let me play this for you so you guys can see this, right? See it in action, see the results of it. Um, so let me hit play here. There we go, I have to make sure. It's a demo, right? So, so this is, uh, I'm gonna show you a couple different uh, trading strategies that uh, we show you, first of all, in the courses and that you can employ yourself. It's pretty easy for you to get these up and running. Um, I've had people that have never coded a day in their lives uh, and have these strategies running. <laughs> within just a few weeks. Um, so uh, yeah, so, you know, even if you don't know how to code, don't feel like you, you have to shy away from this, whatever. I'm gonna be showing you a bunch of code here, but um, really it's um, it's not that difficult to learn. I've been, we'll be, we've been able to teach a lot of people that have never coded before in their lives, right? Um, okay, so here, let's show you a demo of some of our different training strategies, yeah? So there's a couple I wanna show you today. We have some new ones, like I was saying. So I want to show you, first of all, our fast trading strategy, just because a lot of people, um, whenever they think algo trading, they want to be able to trade really quickly, get in and out of things very fast and analyze a lot of things. So what I'm doing here is I'm running this fast trading strategy. You see here, we go into our broker. It was nothing. And now it bought a whole bunch of stuff automatically by itself. Okay. And let me describe to you essentially what this strategy is doing. Okay. Um, here is the code. The code is is fairly straightforward. It's not that long, right? So it looks like you know 160 lines of code, but a lot of it is boilerplate stuff, and a lot of it is like you know kind of just uh, tracking things and whatnot. It's very easy for you guys to get something like this up and running. Essentially, what it does is it looks at these symbols here, right? Uh, SPY, gold, TLT, Microsoft, Tesla, etc. Right? We're looking at all those symbols and basically saying which one has done the best over the past one minute. Right, and whichever one did the best, you know, has has had a momentum, the best momentum. It keeps the top four, okay, and it'll keep swapping them. So if we watch this here, we see the top four we have right now is TLT, XPXS, XPXL, and MCHI. Those are the best over one minute. You see that it just swapped. We just bought some gold, so it sold TLT and it bought gold. Okay? If we leave this running, you'll see. Uh, basically, we'll do this all day long, right? Um, you don't have to be in front of your computer. Um, you could have this thing running in the cloud. You could have this thing running off your computer. Um, it will just keep trading for you all day long, right? Uh, now, this is a strategy that, you know, follows momentum, but you could just as easily do a lot of other things with this, right? You could use technical analysis for this, right? I know a lot of people like looking at charts and support resistance, that sort of thing. You could use that, right? You could use things like RSI or pivot points or VWAP, right? You could use all those types of things to influence which stocks you want to own and have like a you know, we have our top top 10 stocks and based on our criteria, we keep the, the top four. They can trade throughout the day doing that sort of thing. Um, so this is very flexible. There's a lot of different things that you can do with this. Uh, and this is just a demo to kind of show you, you know, this this fast trading, how it moves in and out. Um, if we give it another minute, it should actually flip things around. We'll give it, um, yeah, so it, it executes once every minute. We give it a little bit more time. It'll swap things out. Oh, there you go. Okay, I just did that. So it actually, it sold the gold. Remember, you guys, you guys saw the gold. It sold that, and it sold our MCHI. So we sold two of those things, and it bought SPY, and it bought, bought Microsoft, right? And that's because those have been the ones that are doing the best over the past minute and just kind of hold on to them, right? It's just a, a simple momentum strategy. But like I said, there's a lot of other uh, things they could convert this into. Use any kind of technical analysis you want or any kind of criteria that you want to do this sort of trade, right? This is something I'll be like, throughout the day, intraday, quickly, getting in and out of things, right? All right, okay, so that's our fast trading strategy. Let's show you our uh, our technical analysis strategy, right? Because this one is, um, we could basically take what we did in the last one, okay? And we can do the same thing, or we could use, uh, we could use essentially um, uh, you know, what we did in the last one, we could apply this sort of stuff or technical analysis type of stuff, right? So what this one does is it's, um, sorry, there's a, there's a question here on chat. Uh, I want to do trading, day trading will help me with that. Yes, absolutely. will help you with day trading. Yeah. So the last strategy that I just showed you, the fast trading is very well suited for, for day trading, right? So what you would do is you would take something like that and combine it with maybe a technical, it depends on how you, you trade, right? If you trade, you know, support resistance, if you trade using VWAP, if you trade using some sort of technical analysis, RSIs or Bollinger Bands or whatever, um, we could implement all that kind of stuff, right? 
So here is a technical analysis strategy. This one, um, this one trades a little slower, but you can mix the two together, right? You can make it so that um, the last one that we had takes the top four stocks, right? This one, uh, what it does is it trades based off of RSI, right? So it looks at uh, the RSI of uh, SPY, right? And if RSI falls below 33, okay, so actually, so, okay, so just looking at the RSI for SPY, and it has two stocks that it trades, okay? It has SPY and TLT, okay? It has the two of them, okay? And they're normally 60-40, which is kind of like what investment advisors recommend, 60% stocks, 40% bonds, right? But when the RSI gets too high on SPY, which means kind of like it's overbought, right, is what we call it with RSI terms, when it's overbought, then we say, okay, let's get out of SPY and only buy TLT. So we sell our SPY, go 100% to TLT. And then the opposite situation, when SPY falls too much and RSI is low, then we will sell all of our TLT and only buy SPY, right? So it's, it's changing weightings in our stocks based off of this criteria of uh, a technical uh, analysis, right? Technical indicator, okay? So if we see it trading right now, you'll see it bought 60-40 uh, SPY, so 60% money of 50,000 is put into SPY automatically, right? And TLT, the, the other 20,000, right? The other 40%, okay? If this is a time when SPY was too high, it would automatically sell SPY and get into TLT. Or if the opposite happened, if SPY fell a lot, it will do the flip as well. You can do this much faster. You can do this with many stocks throughout the day. Uh, and you can use a lot of other types of technical analysis as well. So we use this library. Right. Um, you could use Bollinger Bands. Right. Um, you could use, you know, some of these things I don't even know what they are. Average true range, you use that. Uh, Bollinger Bands, you could use. You could use moving averages, crossing, you use MACD, um, all sorts of different things that you could use to trade with. RSI, stochastic RSI, right. Lots and lots of different things you could use to trade. Um, and you can trade throughout the day, buying and selling things automatically based on your criteria. Right. You don't have to be at your computer, you don't have to be paying attention to it. You can stop, stop losses automatically, all that kind of stuff. Uh, you can get through through the bottom, right? Okay, so that's our that's our technical analysis strategy, right? Okay, uh, I'm going to show you some cool new ones that we just made, right? Um, so this is one that I think will probably resonate with a lot of you guys. This is a really fun one that we actually just created, and uh, I'm actually in the process of testing. Um, exactly how well it does, but it is, it is definitely a very interesting strategy. Um, let me see, it's not the right, okay, we're gonna get out of this. So this is a strategy that we call Reddit sentiment. Yeah? Uh, you, you get access to this strategy. If you join our classes, you get access to this strategy within our classes, right? We'll give this to you. You can use this, you can modify this. It's part of our library of uh, different algorithms, right? Okay, so, uh, let me run this one here, okay? And let me explain to you kind of what it's doing, all right? So this strategy, what it does is it goes to, I don't know if you guys are familiar with Wall Street bets. I feel like this has blown up in popularity recently. Um, and of course, you guys, if you guys uh, follow this sort of thing or know about this sort of thing, it's been influencing a lot of stocks lately, right? The, the increases in GameStop was because of this channel on, on uh, Reddit. Basically, it's, I think it's now, when I, when I last checked, there's a million, but someone told me there's 4 million people on here. Everyone's discussing stocks, talking about, you know, what to buy, what to sell, that sort of thing. And it actually has quite a bit of predictive power where, you know, GameStop shot up a lot because of what happened on uh, Wall Street bets. There's some people that, that got going and basically went through the roof, right? GameStop, um, AMC was another one that's like a big, we call it meme stock or, or Wall Street bet stock. Uh, and there's a few other ones that are happening more recently, like Wish, uh, and a few other ones that maybe you guys have missed out on. But if you had this uh, bot that we've built out here, you won't have to, right? So what it does is it automatically downloads um, the hot topics within Wall Street Bets, right? It downloads, uh, you could specify exactly how much you want to download, right? And then it looks over all of those, uh, those topics, reads all the comments, and uses some artificial intelligence, uses a bit of uh, machine learning type stuff to figure out which stocks have the best sentiment. Okay? And sentiment being um, whether uh, people are saying they like them or not, right? I hate Wish, or I love Wish, or I think Wish is going to the moon, right? It's gonna read all those comments and, and tell you which stocks 
um, are, first of all, talked about the most and which ones have the best sentiment. So we see here, Apple, for example, does not have a very good sentiment. It's widely talked about. People don't seem to like it on Wall Street bets right now. Ones that they do like is this one here, 0.43 Wish. This one's been a hot topic for a while. If you look at the stock charts, by the way, it's gone up a lot. It's doubled over the past week or two, right? So uh, that sentiment is high up there. We have GOEB. I don't even know what that is. Um, this is talking about, people are talking about this on, on Wall Street bets. But in either case, um, what it did is automatically read all that kind of stuff and then bought the top ones for you, right? So let's take a look here. Boom. These are all the top stocks on Wall Street bets, right? It will automatically hold on to these and read actually these comments throughout the day and throughout the weeks. So you can have this running in a server or running on your computer. It will automatically buy, in this case, the top four stocks that are talked about on, on Wall Street bets. Not only the ones that are the most popular, but also the ones that um, people have the best sentiment for, that people say they really like. Look at that. We, we just bought them, and all of a sudden, our, our money is already starting to go up. <laughs> it's kind of fun to watch. Um, yeah, so this is this is a very interesting strategy. We, we're going to be actually testing this over the next little bit, and I'm, I'm thinking about putting some of, uh, some of our own uh, funds money into this as well. All right, so look at that. We literally just bought it, and look at what happened to our stock price. Like it's, it's literally within a minute. It's shooting up like crazy, right? Um, and what this strategy will do is just, it will just keep reading this all day long, right? And see, has it changed, right? If sentiments have changed, it will get rid of it, right? Or if sentiments have gone up for one, it will buy it, right? So it'll automatically be doing this stuff all day long, right? Definitely really cool. It's, it's amazing how fast it's, it's going up. Um, so I we have a question here. I have no coding experience. Was program sync into my trading platform and auto execute the trades? It depends what trading platform you use, right? Um, so if you, if you have no coding experience, I wouldn't be too worried about it. We have a lot of people in our classes with no coding experience and they've all been able to get bots up and running. So I wouldn't be too surprised about that. I wouldn't be too worried about that. Right. Um, whether it links with your trading platform, it depends on what trading platform you're using. Right. Um, we have two brokers that we work with right off the bat. Um, yeah, so we use Alpaca, we use interactive brokers and we're going to be adding in trade station soon. That's the next one that we're adding in. Um, so if you use TradeStation, we'll probably have this uh, built in within the next like two months, right? So we are definitely going to be adding that in soon, right? Um, so yeah, so um, for, for Thinkorswim, um, they don't have API access. They have API access to something called uh, TD Ameritrade. Um, they, and they don't give you access to the Thinkorswim platform. It's kind of a little weird there. Um, so we recommend actually, if you want to do uh, like algo trading, TD Ameritrade is really not the best. Right, um, they don't allow you to do paper trading, that sort of thing. And to be honest, it's really easy to switch brokers, right? Like to open up an account with Alpaca, like honestly, I, I think you could do this within five minutes, right? It's really easy to do that. Um, so we work with them, we work with interactive brokers, we're gonna be adding in TradeStation very soon, and then we're gonna keep adding in more and more as we go. Um, so you, you definitely have a lot of options there. This is amazing, look at this. We literally just bought this and we're already making like a bunch of money. <laughs> the stock chart just shoot straight up. Um, yeah, changing brokers, yeah, I agree with you, right? Changing brokers is not very difficult. Uh, it's really easy to do that. Uh, we, I really like TradeStation. They have great APIs, so we're going to be interact. We're going to be working with them soon. They also have crypto. They have futures. They have a lot of other stuff. So TradeStation is a, a really good one that we're going to be adding in. It's amazing, guys. I, I got to start running my own money in this strategy. We literally just built this like two days ago, so we're still testing it out, but it's like it's amazing. Look at this. Literally, in, in, the, in the course of this conversation, we've already made what, like $300 or something like that. It's just in the course of our talking right now. Um, cool strategy, right? So, uh, so yeah, so that's our, that's our Reddit trading strategy. Um, if you have no coding experience, really not that hard for you guys to get this up and running. Um, it's part of a code library. So you can actually start off with this. You can modify it however you want. Um, you don't have to be an expert programmer to do this stuff, guys. You don't have to be some like whiz kid. We give you a lot of these templates that you can start off with. All right. Okay, cool. So that's the Reddit sentiment. Uh, I'm going to show you one more. Um, that one actually is really cool. I got to I gotta run that one. I'm going to do that after this. I'm going to run in the cloud and have it go for a few days, test it out for a couple of days, because that's pretty impressive how, how well it did that quickly. Um, like I said, we just built this one like two days ago. Um, another one I want to show you guys, and this is one that we actually just put a bunch of our money into. Um, I really like this strategy, and I'll tell you why, right? Um, and I'll tell you why through a back test. Okay? So, we teach you not only how to build the bots, but we also teach you how to do the research behind it, 
um, as to, you know, how are you going to be picking a strategy? Is this a good strategy for you to do or not? Right? Um, how do you find these strategies? And this is one way they can figure out whether a strategy is good for you or not. Okay. What I'm doing right now is I'm running a back test. Okay. So there's a back test for a strategy that, that we call diversified leverage. Okay. And basically what we're doing is we're going from 2012, right? We're doing this because some of these ticker symbols don't exist until 2012 from 2012 until 2021. So nine years. Okay. And we're seeing how would our strategy have done over the past nine years? What kind of results would we have gotten? Right? So the strategy in particular, the one that we're doing is um, called this diversified leverage strategy. Okay. And basically what it is, is this is like modern portfolio theory, right? If you talk to someone like a Ray Dalio, or you talk to like some of the most prominent investors in the world, they all tell you diversify well. And the reason why you diversify well is because you want to make sure that you reduce your risk. If you reduce your risk, you can take on more, uh, you can actually take on more risk and make more money, right? Essentially. So what this is, is we have a bunch of different ticker symbols we're in here. We're in the leveraged NASDAQ, so TQQQ, right? So it's the triple NASDAQ, right? So 3x the returns of the NASDAQ. If you look at the stock chart on this thing, it's wild. It's like up 1,600% in two years or something like that. It's crazy, right? Um, but of course, also has its risk. There's a downside as well, right? So we want to protect against that. So we have 20% of our money into that. 10% of our money into UPRO, which is the leveraged S&P 500, 3x leveraged. Then we have 10% of our money into UDAO, which is a leveraged Dow Jones. Uh, then we have 10% of our money in emerging markets, right? Leveraged emerging markets, right? 35% of our money in leveraged treasury bonds. So now we, we diversify, right? So we have in total 50% of our money in stocks, right? In leveraged stocks, right? And diversified around the world a little bit, right? And then we have the rest of our money in something to counterbalance that, right? To reduce our risks, to give us some, some good um, hedging and to improve our returns without taking on too much risk, right? So we do that by having leveraged treasury bonds. So usually when stocks fall, treasuries go up and vice versa. So they're a really good hedge to have in a portfolio. We also have uh, Barclays VIX, right? This is an interesting one. Basically you lose money regularly but when things fall apart, if like the stock market crashes, it'll go like up 5x. You make 500% of your money in like a day, right? Um, and that's a really good hedge because if things fall, you want to be able to protect yourself, right? And we also have 5% of our money in gold. So this is one that actually um, I've put some of our money into, right? Not all, but some good chunk of our money into the strategy. And I'll tell you why, right? Uh, when we look at the back test, what we can see here is look at this. So this is this strategy. Okay, over that same time period, right? Over this 2012 to 2021, that nine years there. So January 1st, 2012 to January 1st, 2021, right? So nine years. Okay. Over that time period, the S&P 500 was up 17.5%, which is nice, right? If you were in this strategy, you would have made 28.9%. You would have almost doubled the stock market's returns, okay? Which is amazing, right? Like, obviously, that's if you guys do the math behind this, this is the difference between um, when you retire, you could retire with a million bucks versus 10 million, right? That's like the difference, right? Like it's a very, very large difference when you have double the stock market returns. Huge, huge payouts. This, this could be this could be worth $9 million to you in the future. I mean, this this kind of differential, right? But okay, so it's, it's great to have a higher returns. That's awesome, right? But we're not just talking about higher returns here. We're talking about higher returns while taking on the same amount or less risk. So over that same time period, so we doubled the stock market's returns, but we also had only a little bit of increase in our volatility. It's not too much more volatile, meaning this up and down thing. And our max drawdown is almost exactly the same, right? So meaning from the peak to the bottom, right? This is, this is in uh, last year, right? March, you know, 2020, stock market fell 30%. From the very top to the very bottom, it fell 33%, okay? If you were invested in this strategy, you would have also only lost about 33% at the same time period. So we have the same risk as the stock market, but we're making double the returns. That to me sounds incredibly impressive, right? Which is why uh, we're putting some of our money into this, right? We, we diversify among different strategies. We don't put everything into one, but this was one when, when we're looking at 30% of your returns, it sounds very appealing to me, right? So this one went ahead. Uh, when we go in here, you can see uh, it automatically bought all these things for us, right? Uh, all the different ones. This would be a pain, by the way, to do uh, on your own. 
And the key is um, that it, it doesn't just buy these, it, it rebalances. And that's the key here, right? Because you'll have days like, for example, TQQQ will shoot up, you know, in a week's time, will shoot up 100% or something like that. When it shoots up 100%, you want to rebalance your portfolio and put money somewhere else. And that's how you actually get the safety along with the very good gains, right? Uh, it's, it's intelligent portfolio construction, and that's how you end up making all the money. That's why having, having like a robot, they'll automatically look at the stuff and rebalance for you is really important because that's how you're actually going to end up with these returns. You can't just go and buy them and that's it, right? Um, you actually have to be rebalancing and trading them on a regular basis, right? So I very much like the strategy as well. Uh, we have our own money, like I said, in this as well. And uh, so far, we've been doing, you know, we've been making good money. So I'm happy with it so far, All right? Cool. All right, so that's a couple of our strategies. You know, we've showed you everything from our day trading, you know, to trading off of Reddit, to, you know, building intelligent portfolios. We have, I have a few more that I can show you guys. We have a whole library, like I said, there's tons of different things. We, we have things where we trade off of like macroeconomic uh, things where we use like the, the debt where the, the Fed Reserve that they take on debt, we trade off of that. Uh, we're building out a bunch of options trading strategies as well, uh, which I want, we're going to have a separate webinar to kind of explain a bunch of that stuff where, you know, you can trade volatility and all that sort of thing. We have lots and lots of different strategies and they, and we just keep growing more and more of them. So uh, if you guys join our courses, um, not only are we going to teach you how to do this stuff, we're going to give you access to that big library. So you'll be able to uh, either use it right off the box, right out of the box, or, you know, modify it to do whatever you want it to do. Uh, you have access to that sort of stuff. All right. Cool. So that's, uh, that's the demo. Um, do you get awesome, guys. So uh, what do you think about the demo? Any questions, comments, thoughts about it? Feel free to feel free to type into uh, the chat or into the Q and A. If you have any questions or comments about that, All right? We got something in here, so I got a chat. Uh, awesome and autumn, awesome and you automated it. <laughs> awesome, yeah. Thanks, thanks, uh, Thomas. Thanks, Thomas. Yeah, definitely uh, a lot of really cool stuff there. Uh, we use a lot of those strategies, of course, to trade on our own, and we're constantly building newer and newer stuff. Um, one of the things that we're going to be building over the next little bit is um, following stuff in chat rooms, right? So you can go into like Telegram and basically like follow their chats and it will automatically like buy and sell stuff there. Uh, a lot of us, a lot of people have also been asking for like stock screener type stuff. So we're going to start working on some technology to do that. Um, so lots of good things, a lot, lots of fun things that are available, lots of different bots that you guys can choose from and build, right? So you're not building these things from scratch. We have a lot of things available for you already out of the box. All right. Okay, cool. So that's a demo. Um, so now let's talk about the course, right? So I'll tell you a little bit about uh, this course. We have um, quite a few different courses that uh, I'm going to change this link here because it's uh, okay. I guess it's um, so. This is one of our courses. We have uh, three courses available right now. This is uh, our flagship course. You know, algorithmic trading. We usually have the most amount of people going through this course. Uh, but then we also have a machine learning course, uh, which kind of like takes this to the next step, next step and teaches you how to apply like uh, machine learning and artificial intelligence to your algorithms, right? So there's lots of really cool stuff there. Um, and then we also have an options trading course, which teaches you how to apply the same sort of thing, but to options trading, which if you guys know a little bit about options is quite a bit more complex, right? So teaching you how to apply uh, algorithmic trading to options, right? We're also coming out with another course um, that we're probably going to reveal in about a week or two, uh, which is on blockchain. Uh, and it's going to teach you how to create your own crypto coins uh, and create your own NFTs and things like that using code. So we're going to be releasing that course soon as well. All right. But today what we're talking about is we're talking about the algorithmic trading course, right? Uh, and this course, uh, like I said, people love this thing. Every time people go through it, I get, you know, we get tons of compliments on this. We have great ratings about it. Uh, so definitely a great course when it's been out for a while so we've really been able to hone this in um so this course is of course um of course of course uh, is all about um making algorithms right that the trade uh kind of like the demos that you saw there that trade uh stocks for the most part but you could also use to trade futures and forex and uh pretty soon crypto as well and options although again options are a little bit more complex um which is why we have a whole course just on that but you could trade any one of those assets pretty much using this technology, right? 
So let's talk about our course plans, first of all. Uh, so we have three different course plans, uh, the self-directed live classes and project help slash tutoring. So our self-directed classes, uh, what they really are is they're basically recordings of our live sessions, right? Um, you're going to be able to see those videos, right? You're going to be able to see, um, you know, basically, you know, the, the, the classes are taught live. You'll be able to watch all those. You also get access to our community, right? Which is our Discord community. But then also we have, um, uh, you know, locked off channels, right? That you can get into. So you can talk with other alumni uh, over voice chat and all that sort of thing. Um, another feature that we're revealing soon is we're going to have uh, basically um, study groups that you be part of, right? So for every, uh, so for example, the algorithmic trading course, we'll have a study group where you meet, you know, once a week to discuss kind of how everyone's working, how, how everyone's algorithms are going and that sort of thing. You also get access to our discussion hour, uh, which is um, actually tonight. So if you guys, if you guys, by the way, if you guys purchase this course today, uh, you get access to this um, in an hour. We're doing a discussion hour where everyone talks about their algorithms and how they're going and what things that they've discovered and whatnot. So it's, it's a really great way to communicate and get to know other people in the community and you know learn and, and build uh, some really great things, right? Uh, some people in there as well are kind of like, you know, there's some people that are better at programming, some people are better at finance. And a lot of times it's really good to, to have uh, those two types of people get together because uh, you end up building some really, really cool stuff, right? So that's our self-directed plan. Basically, it's, um, it's access to our pre-recorded videos and access to our community. Uh, and, and also you get a bunch of support with that. So that's the, that's the self-directed plan. The live classes plan uh, is an upgrade from there, right? So you get basically everything that you get inside the self-directed plan, right? Which is access to recordings of videos, access to our community, access to um, uh, support, but you also get um, very importantly, uh, you're able to join these live classes. So imagine, um, you know, instead of watching a video and it's like, okay, that's great. I'm learning some things. Uh, we found that students do a lot better when they, when they're in live classes. So kind of like this over zoom, except you guys can turn your cameras, you guys can turn on your microphones and ask questions. It's very interactive, right? Uh, there's lots of presentations in a class. So you'll get a chance to present, uh, what you're working on. You can get a lot of feedback. You get to see what other people are presenting and kind of like copy what they're doing and learn from them. Right? So this presentation thing is really good, right? Uh, you get to ask lots and lots of questions and you get lots of, of additional support where um, basically, uh, you know, if whenever time, whenever you need to book time on Zoom or whenever you have any questions, we're more than happy to help, right? Um, <clears throat> also with uh, the live course plan, um, I was gonna say, yeah. So another great thing about the live course plan, and, and a lot of students say this too, is it uh, really encourages you to, to get the work done as well, right? Uh, we have assignments throughout, uh, we have projects throughout, and really uh, people find that it, it helps actually pace them and do a lot better. Um, when people take our self-directed courses, they, they still do well and they still like those courses, um, but when you take the live classes, we, we really get uh, some really good feedback on that because the learning style is very helpful in that sense, right? So we have self-directed, we have live classes, which basically is everything self-directed. Plus it's live and you can ask the instructor questions to the class. And then we have a premium package, which is our project help and tutoring. Uh, and a lot of people get this one too. Uh, and they get it because uh, they want to have additional help, right? So what this does is it gives you uh, everything from those lectures from before, gives you everything from self-directed, everything from live classes. And then on top of that, you get the white glove service uh, we're basically, you know, unlimited support as many times as you want to be on the phone and Zoom. We're, we're more than happy to help you. Um, and if you actually need help with development work, we could actually get our developers to build some stuff for you as well, right? Um, so this is really the white glove service. If you really want to build that algorithm and you and you really want that extra help, uh, this is a plan to go with the project help and tutoring. Right? Okay. Uh, here's the pricing for all of them. Uh, we have a self-directed plan which is, um, and I'm not sure, you know what? I'm actually gonna go to the new website. This is a little bit algorithmic trading, not landing page other than trading by now. You know, you just go through here. So we go up here, algorithmic trading, right? <laughs> Makes it a little bit easier. Uh, I'm gonna change the link in here because we, we've updated this. 
Yeah, there you go. Okay. That's why it doesn't work. Um, okay, cool. So the same thing, we have those three plans. If you go down here, you can see uh, the three different plans, right? Uh, we have that self-directed, which is $948. Uh, this is also, by the way, um, you could pay this, uh, any, any one of our plans, you could pay either upfront or you could pay in uh, over three months or you could pay over five months, right? It's, it's uh, at checkout, they're able to do that, right? Um, so the self-directed plan is, is $948, right? Um, the, uh, which is basically access to uh, all the videos uh, and access to our community, access to our library of code. You get all of that with the self-directed plan. With the live course plan, which is the one that people really, really love, you get access to uh, basically Zoom, uh, these live sessions where you could ask questions with the professor, uh, with the instructor. In this case, I'd be the one teaching this class, but for our other classes, it's the same thing. Um, you know, you could ask questions to the, the instructor, you can get on Zoom calls, that sort of thing, you get lots of support. Uh, and it's also live, so kind of like paces you, make sure that you learn this a lot better. You can ask questions throughout the class. Uh, really, we get some, some great feedback for these courses, and this is kind of the main thing. Uh, it's about 3,500 bucks. Again, you could pay that over five months. You could pay that over three months. It doesn't have to be all paid up front. Right? We have payment plans on those. Uh, and then we also have that project help and tutoring. This one goes for 5,300 um, and basically allows you to, um, uh, to get all that like white glove support as well. Right? And the way that this website works is that if you get uh, more than one product at a time, so say you want to buy the algorithmic trading, and you also want to get, um, let's say the options course to go here to options, you wanna buy that too. When you, um, when you add both of them to your cart, you actually get a discount, right? So you get a discount for buying more than one class at a time. So just keep that in mind if you're interested in you know, more than one, then you also, you get that discount from, uh, from combining them, right? I believe it's 10% or 20%, something like that. It's, it's just done automatically on the website, right? Uh, if you scroll down, you'll see that there's a bunch of stuff here. We talk about, uh, we actually have had quite a bit more students than that now, uh, and you update that number, but um, this is going, you can read all about it here, the outcomes, the curriculum, uh, this is probably the thing that people care about most, the curriculum. Um, and then you have down here the, the dates for the upcoming live classes. So the next one that we're doing is December, uh, and we're going to add another one in that's going to be uh, in, in 2022 as well, uh, the live classes starting. Uh, if you take the self-directed class, actually, let's put it this way. If you take the, if you take the live class, you'll get access to the pre-recordings immediately, right? So you don't have to wait until December to actually start learning a little bit. You'll get that immediately. Um, and on top of that, obviously, if you get the self-directed class, you will be able to start learning immediately as well, right? Uh, we definitely find that students that start sooner and like go ahead a little bit in the material, they're the ones that end up building like some really, really cool stuff. Uh, so definitely um, ad advise that. Um, yeah, so uh, Thomas asks, so uh, what is the six hours of dedicated Q&A on the live classes class? Uh, is that one-on-one? -on -one? How many students do you have? Okay, so to answer all those questions, so first of all, um, since we were talking about six hours of dedicated Q&A, this is gonna be live one-on-one, uh, -on -one, right? On top of the actual class. So the live class itself, you can ask as many questions as you want during the live class, right? It's usually like two to three hours long, uh, once a week. You can ask as many questions as you want while we're going through the material. And then on top of that, you're also gonna get the six hours of live Q&A, which we can go one-on-one -on -one and you can just ask lots of questions of like anything that you have around the material, right? You could ask, you know, anything throughout that time. It's one-on-one, -on -one, right? Uh, and then the question is how many students do we have? Uh, we'll typically have in a class somewhere around 10 to 15. We try to keep them not too big because uh, obviously really big classes, they're a hard to maintain, but also it's, it's, uh, it's a disservice to the students. We try to keep class sizes small. Um, so that way you have like a lot of time with the instructor to ask questions and, and get help with whatever you need, All right? Thank you for that question. Great. And let me know if you have any other questions around that as well. All right, cool. So uh, let's talk about the curriculum. Um, so our curriculum is divided into three parts, right? Uh, uh, basically, uh, the first part covers the, the fundamentals of like how to code and, and data science, the fundamentals of it. The second part, so it's four weeks long. The second part is on applying that to the finance world, right? So how do you apply data science to finance? And the third part is about building your bot. 
and making sure it's working and all that kind of stuff. Okay. So let's talk about part one. Um, each one of these is four weeks. So part one, four weeks long. Um, you basically have assignments each week, right? To, to practice what you're doing here. First uh, week is just uh, introduction. It's a like really fun kind of thing. You make sure that you get to know other people in the class. So that way you guys can collaborate and all that sort of stuff too. So you do a lot of introductions. We also make sure that we get your system set up so uh, we can get everything going. Week two, we get uh, into Python. We'll teach you Python. If you haven't learned it, we'll teach you kind of from scratch. We also give you lots and lots of resources to help you with your, with your journey. So if you don't know how to code, we can actually teach you throughout this. So not only are you learning how to make bots, but you're also learning how to code, which is obviously a valuable skill, All right? So we go through that. And then we jump into um, more of the data science kind of thing, which is pandas. Uh, pandas is basically the, the top thing they could do in, in data science It's used throughout everything. If you speak to uh, data scientists and they don't know what pandas is, they are not a data scientist. <laughs> it's like that important, right? It's like such an important thing within data science. So we'll, so we'll teach you how to use that and how to apply that to, you know, getting financial data and analyzing data and that sort of thing. So this is a uh, week three and four going to pandas and how that works. Yeah. So that's part one. Um, part two, um, we, we no longer uh, do the assignments. We now make it project-based. So there's people presenting each week. They're presenting their project. Yeah. And we basically teach you about how to apply data science to the world of finance. All right. Um, so one second, I see a chat here. So Thomas says, how much capital do you need to start your account? Ideally, assuming over 25K, so you are over the PDT rule. Uh, concerned with allocating 25 in an account and letting an algo trade. Okay, so yes, so that's, that's a, there's a lot to unpack in that. Um, so first of all, yes, if you're planning on doing day trading, then you have to have over 25K. That is definitely the case. Not every algorithm does, that off, does trade that often, right? PDT is basically saying, uh, if you have five round trips within a week, right? Um, it depends what your algorithm is, right? If you, if you have an algorithm that trades that frequently and the same asset, then yes, you're going to have that, have that 25K. But otherwise, um, you know, you can have other algorithms that maybe it's not that you're trading one stock back and forth, you could be trading 50 of them, right? And then you're not violating any PDT rules, right? So there's lots and lots of different algorithms that you can have. But if you're, if you're doing one, if you're planning on doing day trading, uh, according to the rule, PDT rule, then yes, you're gonna have to have a 25K. Uh, and, then, um, and then in addition to that, so basically um, if you're uh, worried about allocating 25K into an account and letting a bot trade, that's exactly why we recommend, first of all, doing back testing. So you're gonna take your algorithm, you're gonna back test it, you're gonna see how it would have done historically over a period of time, right? So that's gonna give you a really strong indication as to how your algorithm is gonna perform. Um, it really helps a lot, believe me, back testing and then trading live, like it really, really helps to make sure that you have a good algorithm on your hands. Um, and so that's first of all, you're going to back test, then you're going to be doing paper trading, right? Which is, you know, pretty much all the brokers that we use have paper trading, that's why we chose them, so that you can practice with your bot on fake money, right? Before you ever let it go live, right? Which is something I highly recommend, practice with fake money first. Make sure that your bot's working properly, that you're not having any issues, any bugs, and then go into live, right? So there's a, there's a process behind it um, so that you can make sure that you're um, taking an abundance of caution to make sure that things are, are working out well, right? Um, okay, so question is here, can you do a vertical spread swing trade algo? Uh, assuming so, I'm not entirely sure what a vertical spread swing trade is. Um, you know, but to be honest with you, uh, there's very few things I've ever heard of that you can't do in algorithmic trading. Um, you know, actually, I haven't heard of anything that you can't do, replicate. Basically, anything that you can do trading normally, you can use an algorithm to trade, right? Um, the difficulty of it, obviously, is dependent on, like, what, what it is you're trying to do, right? Um, this doesn't sound, uh, for, by the sounds of it, it doesn't sound like anything too complicated. Vertical spreads, swing trade, yeah. Vertical spread, swing trade. Uh, swing trading options. So basically you want to you want to take, yeah, buying and selling on call. Yeah, you can absolutely do that. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> definitely. You can definitely do that. And if you're interested, like I said, we have that uh, options trading class as well. So we could really walk you through 
Um, if you take the algorithmic trading class, you can still figure it out. Don't get me wrong. You can take the algorithmic trading class and still use the bot to trade options. But uh, we have a class specifically on options trading as well. That we usually recommend they take them together. If especially you don't have if you don't have coding experience, I definitely recommend they take them together. Um, and this will teach you how to do a lot of these like option strategies using algorithms because it is a little bit more complicated. Um, but absolutely very possible and, and quite profitable from, from what I can tell so far uh, within our class. Uh, we don't have too many of them deployed yet, but when we back test them, they work out really well and excited about getting some options trading bots up. This, this is very, very cool stuff. Um, this class just started recently and it's like, it's, it's really good. Honestly, definitely really like this class so far as well. Um, so if you're interested in that, we have that. Cool. Uh, then there's also a question here, and this is, if you want to learn more about the options class, you can go into courses, uh, options trading, and you can learn more about it here too. Okay. Uh, and this is like, you know, curriculum, all that stuff. You can read through it. And, or if you have any questions, you can ask. Right. Um, but that's, that's all that stuff there. Um, there's also a question here from Nadal. Um, I came in the tail end of this webinar. Do you have a recording of this webinar for me to review? Yes, I do. So if you go here to our, um, to our uh, YouTube, right? I sent a link inside of a chat. So you can grab that link from the chat. If you click into that, you'll see here that there's this live class. You can click into that. Right now it's live. Uh, pretty much as soon as this finishes, it's gonna go from being a live class to, um, to a recording, all right? So I'm gonna put that in here. No problem. And Thomas says, uh, got to run. Good stuff, man. Thanks, Thomas. Thank you for being part of this. Uh, thanks. Going to digest over a few days. Feel free to follow up later. Okay. Sounds great. Cool. Uh, and, and also, obviously, let me know if you have any other questions. Uh, more than happy to help there, Thomas. Cool. Okay. Awesome. Um, all right. So uh, to, to keep going through this curriculum. So first one, first part is uh, data science uh, fundamentals that will teach you how to code from scratch if you don't know how to do that. Um, next part is applying all that data science to the world of finance. So we'll teach you how to download data. We'll teach you how to um, analyze that data, do a lot of statistical analysis on it. We'll teach you how to do a bunch of like financial metrics within uh, within Python, within, um, within Pandas and in, in development environments. And then we're going to teach you how to back test your strategies, right? Which is obviously very important. It's, it's basically saying, how would my strategy have done over the past, you know, let's say 20 years, you know, um, how would I have traded? How much money would I have made? What would be the best and worst times? We'll have all that stuff put out, uh, teach you how to do all that sort of stuff, back test your, your algorithms within uh, the end of this week. Okay. Usually also uh, by the end of this period around this week three or week four here is usually when uh, almost everyone in the class will have the bot running. Um, my goal is always making sure 100% of people have bots out of this. Uh, we've been able to get people to make bots that have almost no experience at all uh, of coding or anything. Um, so believe me, if you can get through this class, if you actually show up, there's um, pretty much a guarantee. I actually have you down to do even a guarantee that um, that you'll have a bot up and running um, probably even around this time, not even by the end of the class, right? Okay, so that's part two, data science and finance. Uh, and then part three is the last four weeks where basically uh, we show you how to connect to the broker, how you can actually start trading with this. We'll show you different ways to connect to different brokers. Uh, and then we'll basically walk you through lots and lots of different examples, right? So here's, you know, we'll, we'll show um, the simple strategy examples. These are actually, these update over time so that we, keep them updating our, our algorithms but we basically for weeks two three four we're going to show you lots and lots of different example bots everything from what you saw there reddit trading uh to trading uh momentum to uh swing trading to you name it you know we'll we'll, we'll cover lots and lots of different strategies here for you to see uh, and then week four uh we also get into building machine learning bot which is really really cool uh there's lots of um you know, our, our, um, the person who teaches our machine learning course, he has uh, clients that he makes bots for. And I believe he, the, the average return, I think that he said is around like 45% a year that they're making. So really, really good money that they're making using these machine learning techniques. Uh, and we kind of uh, do a, a little introduction here into machine learning and how to, uh, and how to use that. 
Um, machine learning is a deep topic, so we're, we're not able to go through the entire, everything about machine learning in this one week, right? Um, for that, we have an entire class on machine learning for trading. Um, but here we'll, we'll kind of give you a nice little introduction and teach you how to build this machine learning block kind of the basics, right? Okay, cool. Um, so that's the curriculum. Um, we have a live class coming up soon. The next live class we have coming up is starts in December. Registration closes for it November 24th. Uh, and the course actually starts on December 5th. Um, I believe right now we have an early bird special. Yeah, we still have an early bird special going on. So if you want to sign up by October 24th, so within the next five days, uh, you're gonna get a nice discount there. You're gonna get 20% off. Uh, of this course, if you sign up within the next five days before that, uh, the end in uh, October 24th. And the course itself will start on December 8th. It goes through 12 weeks, excluding holiday breaks. So um, it's gonna be starting on Christmas and New Year's. So we'll probably um, skip a week or two, right? So it's gonna be more like 13 or 14 weeks long, right? Um, with those breaks in between. Um, and then each, uh, we recommend that it's about, they spend about eight to 12 hours per week, uh, learning this stuff. Uh, the course is every Wednesday at 8 p.m. Eastern or 5 p.m. Pacific. So we do it every Wednesday for 12 weeks. And the, the class itself is usually about two hours, two to three hours, depending on kind of the topic there, right? So you're getting quite a bit of lecture time there. You're able to ask the instructors lots of questions. Uh, in the case of algorithmic trading, it's myself that'll be teaching it. So you could ask me any questions and, and I can help you out throughout the class. Really, really focused on making sure we we're holding everyone's hand through this whole process. Um, of course, you also get the, the questions outside of class as well. Uh, but it's about two to three hours per week, every Wednesday, 8 p.m. Eastern or 5 p.m. Pacific. And the courses start on December 8th, right? Uh, and again, you know, if you want that discount, 20% off, uh, just make sure you sign up by October 24th, right? Okay, so there's two two projects that you get uh, throughout this class that you're gonna be working on. The first one is gonna be analyzing your investment strategies. This is basically using data science to figure out, is this a good investment strategy? Should I be buying this way or not? Um, you know, all that sort of stuff. We'll teach you how to download data and, and come up with these sorts of hypotheses, right? Back testing and all that. And project two is gonna be building this live trading bot. And you're gonna see this thing actually trading working live, right? Um, what these both both of these projects you're going to see lots of presentation throughout uh, throughout the weeks. Uh, you're going to see other people how they're working on their projects. You get to present your own, get some feedback on that. Um, so it's very collaborative, and you really learn a lot, uh, not just from the instructors but also from the students. Um, it, we, we try to make it as as collaborative as possible, right? Uh, we also have that thing where we're going to have study groups as well, so you get to know the other students, and you guys can work on uh, you know spreading ideas throughout the community as well, right? If you want to learn a little bit about myself, um, I introduced myself at the beginning of class, but here's a little bit more information about me. If you want, um, I could even add my LinkedIn profile here. You guys can search my LinkedIn. Feel free to take a look. All right. And uh, here's some uh, testimonials. Here's uh, a couple of testimonials from a few different people. All right. Uh, a game who started with us, never knew how to code to begin with, and he's built some really, really cool bots, um, really into crypto and, and futures trading now. Uh, actually, I spoke to him earlier today. Uh, he's building like a machine learning bot to trade crypto, which is really, really cool. Uh, Renee, who uh, took our course a while back as well, was able to build some pretty cool bots. Uh, Sintayan, who I can tell you has been making some really good returns. <laughs> this guy's really making good money doing this stuff. Last time I spoke to him, he said he made 400% uh, over the past year. That's amazing. Um, so you can read his or watch his testimonial here and, uh, and learn a little bit about kind of what he's doing, right? There's a few more stuff and things in here if you want to read as well uh, about you know all the different uh, different people, right? Okay, and then of course at the bottom, if you have any questions, you can book a call with us so you can uh, watch this recording. Uh, is, is the link is down here, right? Okay, awesome. So that's uh, pretty much everything for today. Um, do you guys have any uh, any more questions? Any last questions? I know some of you joined a little late. Um, so you can obviously rewatch this, right, if you need to. Um, but any last questions for me before we uh, finish for the night? I'll give you guys a little bit of time to, to go ahead and do that. I know sometimes it takes time to, to type out questions, so I'll give you guys a little bit of time. Um, I think uh, I sent a link here.
the chat. Yeah, so you guys have a link to, to go rewatch this video. All right, great. Well, if you guys don't have any last questions, you, you guys can always uh, ask whenever uh, you can reach out to me on Discord. Uh, I put that link in earlier. Um, I can put that in again if you guys would like, actually, I'll put the Discord link in. So if, if you guys ever have questions, feel free to join our Discord channel. Uh, you know, not only am I on there, but it's also a lot of other students. Uh, so you guys can ask questions and learn a little bit about the program or, or how other people have done. You, you can, you're more than welcome to ask there. All right. And, um, and yeah, and thank you guys very much for attending this webinar. This is great. You guys are a fantastic audience. So thanks so much. And I uh, hope you guys have a good night. All right. Thank you. Have a good one, guys.